In this video, we are going to talk about how to find the volume of pyramids and cones. So a pyramid and a cone, right, just have the one base and they go up to a point. And actually a pyramid will fit inside of the same based prism. So if you have the same base and height of a prism, the pyramid will fit into it three times. Same with the cone. If you had um, a cylinder with the same base and height, so if it was like this, and then you had, you know, around here, and this just went up to the center, this, the volume of this cone would fit into this cylinder three times. So, whoops. So the um, formula is just one third of the prism counterpart. So to find the volume of a prism was area of the base times the height, and then you just divide it by three for the pyramid. So if you see a pyramid, area of the base times the height divided by three. And now the height of this is gonna come, you're either gonna see it written off to the side like this, or you'll see it coming down from this center point and with a right angle mark here. So that's going to be the height. So let's find um, the area of this pentagonal pyramid. So volume again, area of the base, um, times the height, divided by 3. So the base here is a regular pentagon. So remember the way that we find the area with a regular polygon is apothem times perimeter, divided by two, the apothem is center out to the edge. Okay, so the apothem in this one is three times the perimeter of this. So it's five um, for the side length. So we've got five, 10, 15, 20, 25 for the perimeter of the base and then divided by three, or sorry, divided by two. Um, so take and type that in um, to your calculator. So you can do three times 25, which is 75, and then divided by two, which is 37.5 for the area of that base, feet squared. And then the height. So you can see the height of, and then the height is the height of the three-dimensional shape, okay? So from top to bottom, and you see that written off to the side here. So the height from top to bottom on this is 73 feet. And then for volume, we'll just multiply those and then divide by three. So 37.5 times 73 and then divided by three. So the volume of this pyramid is 912.5 feet cubed for volume. This is an example of what's called an oblique pyramid. It means it's slanted. It means that when you go straight from the top down, it's not into the center of the base, okay? So you're, it's kind of slanted, it's slanted there. Um, so we see, we still do the same thing, okay? So the volume is going to be the area of the base times the height divided by three. And so we see this base here, and then this tells us the base is a rectangle. So we can just multiply length times width, so 10 times 12. So our base area is 120. And then the height is just dropped, per, you just drop a perpendicular line to the bay, or to the you know bottom. This one doesn't actually touch in the base, which is fine. Um, but we see that we've got the perpendicular mark here. So the height of this oblique pyramid is eight. And so for volume, we will just do area of the base times the height and divide it by three. Area of the base is 120. Height is eight. So we will do 120 times eight and divide that by three. Whoops. And you'll get a volume of 320. And now they don't give you units here, so I'm just gonna do a U cubed. So units cubed. Volume of a cone, okay, area of the base. The base 
is a circle. So we're going to do pi times the radius squared. Remember, your radius is only halfway. So um, center out. So 28 is the diameter. So the radius is 14. So you can do 3.14 times 14 times 14. And you get the area of your base as 615.44 meters squared. Height of this. Okay, not the slant height, you want the actual height, okay, from top to bottom perpendicular, okay, so straight from the top to the bottom perpendicular is 48 meters. <clears throat> For volume, we are just going to multiply those together and then divide by 3, so 615.44 times 48 divided by 3 and you will get a volume of 9,847.04 meters cubed. Find the volume of a right circular cone. So this would be an example of a right prism, or sorry, a right pyramid or a right cone versus this is oblique, slanted, not slanted. Um, so find the volume of a right circular cone. So let's put the volume formula for cone down, area of the base times the height divided by three. Um, and then has a height of 11.7 meters and a base with a circumference of nine meters. Round your answer to the nearest cubic meter. Okay. So the things that we need are the area of the base, which is going to be pi times the radius squared. Okay. And then the height of the cone which they gave us as 11.7 meters, okay? So we already know that. We need to find the area of the base that we need the radius for. And they gave us the circumference of it, okay? <clears throat> so they gave us circumference. So I'm going to write down the circumference formula, which is 2 times pi times the radius. So my circumference, I know, is 9. So I'm going to plug that in for C. So I know the circumference is 9. That equals 2 times pi times the radius. So I'm going to solve for r. So I'm going to divide by 2 first. Gives us 4.5 equals pi times r. So then we'll divide by pi to both sides. So you'll do 4.5 divided by 3.14 and you get 1.43 for your radius. Then this will help you find the area of the base because now you can plug it in here. So we can do pi times 1.43 squared to get the area of the base. So do 1.43 times 1.43 times 3.14 and you will get 6.42 meters squared for your area of your base. Then you can plug into the volume formula. So area of the base times the height divided by 3. So area of your base is 6.42. Height was 11.7. So multiply those. So 6.42 times 11.7 and then divide by 3 and you get volume equals 25 point and now this one wanted nearest tenth okay so just one decimal so this one is 25.03 so just 25 it's gonna um round to just 25.0 so just 25 meters cubed okay last one find the volume of a pyramid with a square base where the area of the base is 19.8 and the height of the pyramid is 13.9, uh, and that shouldn't have a squared there. So 13.9, round it to the nearest tenth. Okay, so you need volume of a pyramid. So let's write down the formula for volume of a pyramid. So volume of a pyramid is area of the base times the height divided by 3. So those are the pieces you need. You need the area of the base and you need the height of the pyramid. Well, the area of the base, the area of the base is 19.8, they told us. 
Okay, so 19.8 centimeters squared for the area of the base. Then the height of the pyramid, they also gave us 13.9. So we don't have a lot of calculations to do. We can just plug this right into the volume. Area of the base times the height divided by 2. So just multiply the 19.8 and the 13.9. I think I said divided by 2. I meant divided by 3. 19.8 times 13.9 and then divided by 3 and you will get a volume of 91.74 and this one wants nearest tenth again. Okay, so the volume is going to be 91.7 centimeters cubed.